This is always the best time with a trap putt. Like you, you get excited. Um, and all the hard work that we've done for actually on this box, a good couple of months, is now coming to fruition. Hey, welcome back everybody. Stuart here from Bee Sanctuary in Johannesburg, South Africa. Thanks for watching, really appreciate you. Today we're heading out to Florida, which is a suburb on the west of Johannesburg, and we're going to be putting a trap out onto a chimney. Right, we're on location, and as you can see, this chimney is leaning quite heavily to the right. Amongst that, there's holes all over the chimney where the bees are going in and out. And in order for a trap out to be successful, we need to restrict the bees to one entrance and exit, which is the one that we'll put the box over with the cone inside. Okay, so most of the bees are going in on this side of the chimney. Um, there's two very big holes here. We're going to block these holes up and then um, mm -hmm. we'll attach the half box on the other side. I think possibly we'll do the half box first and then we'll block these and then we're going to actually wrap the chimney and cling that. Good thing I'm not seeing any on top, so yeah, two holes on top. a check on this uh, trap out that we've got going on this chimney and I think we've spotted a, a little gap just here where the bees are going in and out we're going to check the box in a minute and see uh, you know um, what success we're having on that side but if they're going in and out here it means that the only thing they're using the box for is an exit they're not coming back into the box so we've got to close this up we're going to do that now Okay, so it seems quite a few bees in the cone. Not too many coming out. They are still coming out, it seems. There's some pollen going into the cone. Is it? Yeah, this it's frame, this frame. Yeah. Take that out of look. They stuck these two frames together. Quite touch and go, eh? Okay, so we're back. Back at the chimney with the box. There's a bit of a hole on the bottom, um, which popped up, I think, like a day or two after we were last year. Came here during the day just to see where the bees are coming in and out of. We've got the smoker going, we've got a bit of um, Flash Harry, which we used previously. Um, and we're just going to look for any holes on there and block them all up. Not much going on in the box. No. There's some bees, yeah? Here, yeah. It's fine. This comb looks okay. And we always knew this one was going to be a, a bit of a mission, be a challenge, yeah. the trap out and the chimney we'll see what our next move is going to be so yeah the bees definitely haven't moved in yet so you see in the middle of that um, green yeah yeah right there another hole but this chimney is just riddled with holes Exciting guys. This is hopefully is our last trip here. We've been here a few times. 
We've got the bees going in and out the entrance of the box. So this is looking promising. We're going to climb up there now. We're going to pull a couple of frames, see if the queen's in there laying. If she's in there laying, we're going to pack this box up tonight and take it back to the apiary. Okay, we've got a good clump of bees. Okay, I'm just seeing bees. Bees on the side as well. I think I might see beautiful. Well, that might be a queen cell so somewhere down there. No, it might be drones actually. So there's a large clump all around. That could mean that the queen hasn't moved. I'm going to speak now to one of, one of my guys. In their experience, should we take the box anyway now um, and then introduce a new queen to the colony? So I'm going to give him a call and then we'll, we'll find out. So I there's no queen, um, but when I look in the cells, um, there's multiple eggs in, in the cells. Okay, then there's definitely no queen. Yeah. Okay, she might have died inside the chimney. Yeah, that's also maybe she didn't come out. Yeah. That is also, it's very funny that it does sometimes happen, but very, very seldom. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I, th I think, yeah, I'm going to leave it for one more week and then see what happens. The plan is, come back next Friday. We're going to take this box back to the Apri in Olivedale, whether the Queen's in there or not. And we'll just combine uh, these, these guys with a weaker hive that we've got there at the moment. Any Queen cells? There, should, there wouldn't be, eh? There wouldn't be Queen cells because they don't have any... They don't have the fertilized Boy. eggs, yeah. Okay, yeah. If we, if the queen never made it through the trap out. this roughly because they're going to take this chimney down but we don't want the bees to come back so we just make sure the holes are all sealed up um, and a new swarm doesn't arrive because they can smell that a, a nest had been here before. This is actually an interesting story because the swarm that's in this box is from a chimney removal. And now we're going to combine it with this swarm which doesn't have a queen and um, who was in a chimney. So both these guys were made for each other. They're both from chimneys. So we're pushing these ones together. I'm going to take these three frames like this. So this colony was quite weak and um, uh, we've just doubled the size basically with these bees. So yeah, this is the first time I'm doing this and it'll be interesting to see how it works and if it comes out okay. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our channel. You can follow our journey of learning and seeing if things like this work. Um, and uh, yeah, of course, smash that like button if, uh, if you got any value out of this. Thanks for watching.